So remember the other day when we were doing the Brenizer method with Samantha and I said, she's a country girl. Would you have ever guessed that? I wouldn't have ever guessed that. Maybe we'll do something country and Western later. I mean, she was like, <laughs> no. no. Well, um, we're doing that today and she decided to do it of her own free will. There's no compulsion, no forcing. She just decided to do it. And that's really cool. So we're gonna deal with street noise. And as soon as she gets here with her clothes, we're gonna go and, and do that. That's exciting. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Come along with us. Be excited too. I'm curious, what led you to choose the country and western theme? He said surprise you, and I was like, you want to do this, I'm going to do it before I lose my nerve. You need nerve to do the country and western theme? You don't know how uncomfortable these boots are. I, I don't. I hate no, boots. Don't. <laughs> I don't wear boots. I'm wearing, I'm wearing loafers with amazing socks that my mom gave me for my birthday. They're oh, Argyle. <laughs> so in this episode of the philosophy of photography, you know what we're talking about this time? That's the thing I remembered. Take fewer photos. We're going to talk about three reasons you should take fewer photos. Why three instead of five? Because we're gonna have fewer reasons for fewer photos. That makes sense, right? Also, Sam's gonna play cowgirl. Here we go. Well, I uh, overshot that now, didn't I? Anyways, hi, welcome back to the studio. Welcome back to the fourth installment in a series on the philosophy of photography and how thinking about what you're doing will make what you're doing better, which is always nice. I like doing well. There's three good reasons why you should take fewer photos. But drink more coffee, hold on. Fewer photos, more coffee. That's the secret to happiness in life. Fewer photos, more coffee. <laughs> um, anyways, also leave a comment down below because I'm, I'm using this Sure SM57 and I posted a video about um, different microphones and I really like it. So give me a comment about the audio quality because I'm curious what you think. Anyways, fewer photos. More coffee. You know what? We're gonna do four reasons. Four reasons why you should take fewer photos because, well, I just thought of a really important one. Number four. Number four is this. You don't need so many photos. You don't. You don't need so many photos. You're not gonna use all the photos you take. Even the ones that you want to keep, you're not gonna do anything with nine out of 10 of them. You're just, you just don't need them. Reason number three is they make more work for you. Why would you make more work for you when you don't need the product of the extra work? That's silly. There's more that you have to go through and make a decision. Am I gonna keep it or am I gonna toss it? Am I gonna keep it or toss it? Keep it or toss it, keep it or toss it, it, or toss it and how are you gonna rate it? That's, that's exhausting. You read studies, there's like only a certain amount of decisions you can make in a single day. And am I gonna keep the photo or not goes into that. So don't wear yourself out by taking too many photos. Reason number two, not only are you gonna wear yourself out, but you're gonna wear the people out around you. If it's a portrait shoot, you're going to wear out your subjects and your assistant and everybody else around you. And if it's more like a landscape nature -y thing, then you're gonna wear out the people who are with, I cannot tell you just how exasperated 
It makes my family to sit around and wait for me to get the right photo instead of just getting it right the first time. And so you just don't wear out the people around you. Take fewer photos. But the number one reason, number one reason why you should take fewer photos and 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 the number one reason why you should still shoot film is because you have to think about your photos more. And that makes your photos better. If you think about it, if you think about what it is you're doing, you will make better photos. If you plan it out before you hit that shutter button, if you make your best guess at the right exposure settings before you just check it on the back of your screen, you will just take better photos. But you have to begin with the mindset of taking fewer photos. It's, it's like it, when something is scarce, it's more valuable. So make your photos scarce so that in your own mind and in the mind of clients, they're more valuable. All right, quick bonus tip, because I just realized I could do this. It, it's a little bright, and but I don't want to be under something for the next outfit we're doing with Sam. But I, we don't have anybody to hold a diffuser. But I have the tailgate on my Suburban. I'm telling you, this is the best for photography ever, ever, ever. So we're going to use that. Two benefits. One, we don't have to go far away from the Suburban. And two is it's going to provide the shade that I want. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I can't believe I never thought to do that before. Anyways, bonus tip. Thanks for watching this video because got a bonus tip out of it. Thank you for caring about the work I do. I hope it's added something to you. I hope it somehow makes you better. Take what you want, leave what you don't. Thank you again. God bless you. And we'll talk to you next time.